Edward Lewis Shorty Allen was born in 1909. He was married for 50 years to Dorothy Irene Allen. After she died, he remarried and was married to Sharon Allen for 28 years. He lived to be 104 years old. She was a normal girl when I first met her. Thought I'd give her a turn for the better. Cause the night on the town for her was mac and cheese. I said, baby, let me take you out for something special, please. We took a ride up the avenue, both looking for something new. When the curling column of smoke, it caught our eye. And that sweet smell as my baby started to cry. They had a big old pig on the sign outside. The door opened up and we both sighed. She fell in love with the pork on the bladder and the sauce on the table set hot and hotter. My baby loved the barbecue. Bop, bop, barbecue. What brings you back over and over and over again? It's just, uh... We've grown up here. We've grown up here. And catered our kids' birthday parties and different occasions. And, I mean, we remember it when it was no air conditioning. She loves baking chicken and licking on her fingers all day With a plate of baby back ribs, it's a beautiful day She ran on in, I did not have to poke her I found her mesmerized by the smoker Drooling as that juicy pig turned golden brown So I'm with the Rohan family Now we're in South Florida, a lot of people are don't always frequent the same establishment over and over and over again. You guys have been coming to Shorty's for a long time. What brings you back? It's the family atmosphere, and we've been coming here for 30 years. At least 30 years, probably. So for Valerie and for Brittany, they would come since they were like babies in the womb. Yeah, zero. We would bring them in the, the infant seat and sit them on the table and eat dinner with them on the infant seat. Alyssa, Valerie, what do you remember first of coming to Shorty's? I mean, the first, when I, the, the, the last memory I have when I was younger was basically they had no, there was no air conditioning. I mean, they still had the tables like this. They had, and then eventually they put the screens in, right? I mean, the regular plastic in here, so. Then it got a lot better coming here. Yeah. It was in the air conditioning and then came, yeah. Yeah. And obviously the food, best food. <laughs> What do you remember from the owner, Shorty? The owner's point was always a, a home atmosphere. It's just like you sat down with your neighbor. Anytime you came in here, you always met somebody new from somewhere else in the world. What are you guys going to have tonight? Uh, I'm not sure. It's a tough decision every time we come. Chicken or brisket? You always try something new or you have like a certain dish you go back and forth with? Same thing. We usually eat chicken or, or brisket. Sometimes we'll have sandwiches. It just depends. Now, you know other people that come here. You kind of meet them here. How does that work? You meet your friends here sometimes? Absolutely. When friends come here, this is just the local hangout. We come and meet with the family and friends and their children. And we do an update on a regular basis on how the family's growing. Everybody else is doing fine. My baby loves the barbecue. Since I bought her, got nothing to do Cause that's the only place that she ever wants to go I said, come on, baby My waistline's starting to show I said, bop, bop, barbecue Bop, bop, barbecue I love her when it drips from her fingers down to her shoe No doubt about it, my baby loves her barbecue I said, oh, baby, you know had a presence and when you met him you knew him and you didn't forget him my baby loved the barbecue since I brought her got nothing to do because that's the only place that she now how long have you been working at Shorty's 20 years 20 years in the same location yes how did that happen <laughs> uh, you like your job barbecue Barbecue. I love it when it drips from a fingers down to a shoe. If you couldn't 
couldn't find a job when he completed his PhD, I figured he'd be chopping up chicken. <laughs> oh, baby, you know.